Good morning, Modern Stutters. We have a problem and Justin Rhodes has the solution. So I wanted to thank Justin Rhodes for giving me the solution to my problem. And I wanted to thank Justin Rhodes and his family for going on the Great American Farm Tour and sharing that experience with all of us. It's just great to be able to learn and see all the great places he went across in the United States, sharing all the farms he went to, all the homesteads, and just be able to bring all that community together for all of us to learn from. So the problem we're having with our chick brooder, and most people have it, is the water is getting filled with shavings, not as bad as the other style, and the feeder is. It happened really bad last night. I changed out the shavings and put new shavings in, and they just started scratching and digging and having fun. So that's, that's the problem. If the shavings are old, they don't get in there. But when they're new and clean, the chicks want to play, scratch, and they're just throwing the shavings around everywhere. I mean, look, they're, we're throwing them around so high, they even got way up high. Look at the height of the turbo feeder. So today we're gonna to build a platform that hopefully will keep the shavings out of the water. Mr. Figaro's gonna keep an eye on the chicks while we do this. We're gonna be using hardware cloth. We have leftover hardware cloth from when we built the project. I got a roll of it, the leftover roll right here. That should be enough for what we're gonna need. And then I have a piece of two by two stock that's eight feet long. I'm gonna cut 45 on each end. made two different sizes. One I cut at 10 inches and the other ones I cut at 15. If you don't have a miter saw to cut the 45, I can just do square butt joints. This way it's just a little bit stronger but it's not gonna make that much of a difference. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue each corner cut. There, now we have our first frame. I'm gonna assemble the one for the chick waterer and then I'll be right back. Now the smaller frame measures 12 inches and the bigger frame measures 15. They'll be perfect size. The smaller one will be perfect for the water and the bigger one will be perfect for the feeder. The feeder, not feeder er. Jesus, man. Um, and I should have just enough leftover hardware cloth for this project by making them the size I did. 
So I need to cut this hardware cloth down. There we go. Far down we need to go. Being the end of a roll, it's got a really bad memory in it and it wants to keep rolling back up. There we go. There. Alright, let me cut down the other one. So I wanted to thank Justin, Rebecca, and their family for sharing their story with us, for sharing their year-long road trip with us and bringing us along to the United States and just sharing all the different homesteads out there, what they're doing, what they learned, and their regular homesteading journey with us. I mean, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be building this right now. So thanks, Justin and family. Nice. All right, let's do the other one. So essentially what we're making right here is a chicken doormat. They're gonna get up on their feeder. They're gonna have a place to wipe their feet off on. Either the shaving's gonna fall down through the holes or it's gonna stay here and not get to the water or feeder because this is gonna brush it off. That's in theory how it's gonna work. We'll find out. Better make sure we pick up our tools. I better put my drill in my bag. I'm gonna need this for work when I leave in a few minutes. If you've noticed, I'm using the aftermarket battery. I used the aftermarket battery yesterday in my circular saw. It was even worse. Somebody left it in the comments down below that it might not be the battery, it might be the electronics. And the electronics like, might not be able to run the battery long enough for a continuous draw. And I think they're right, because in the circular saw I was trying to cut an eight foot long piece of plywood, half inch thick. I got about three feet through, it stopped. The battery was still three quarters of the way charged, but it wouldn't cut anymore. It works good on the drill, but not for a continuous draw is what I'm finding out. Chicks a new doormat to keep their feet clean. Switch out the old one. There. You'll have a good place to get up and stand around on there and hopefully keep the wood shavings down. I was starting to get nervous, Figaro. You weren't over here for a little bit. I didn't know something happened to you. All right, so we got the floor mat for the waterer and for the chick feeder. 
And we got the protector of the chicks. Well, this is where we gotta end today's video. I gotta head off to work. I'll give you an update in tomorrow's homestead tour, an update video, and let you know how the doormats are working out. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping they're gonna work good. In theory, they should. So, again, I wanted to thank Justin for sharing his way of doing it for us and the person who left it in the comments and reminded us about the way Justin does it. And I wanted to thank him and his family for going on the Great American Farm Tour and sharing that with us. They're going to have their documentary out soon. I believe it's April 15th. They're going to be doing a live showing of it down in North Carolina. I wanted to thank everybody for coming along on our crazy journey with us today. If you're new to the channel, now's a great time to subscribe, turn on notifications while you're down there, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.